In this video, I spend $380 on eBay repacks. We're going to crack and grade each one and let you guys know if it was worth it. Will we hit any big cards or am I an idiot? Let's find out. No way. We pulled a what? Holy smokes. All right, well, let's start out with the blue one. I'll put anything valued over 99 cents up on the screen. I'll make sure to show you guys each listing too before we open the packs. At the end, we'll definitely review the hits, see if we got our money back. Let me know in the comments how much you think we'll make. Uh, if you guess the closest, I'll send you out a few booster packs. Make sure you like and be subscribed to win. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at the description for this one. Just called Magic the Gathering Repacks. 25 cards. It says a minimum of $50 in value uh, with a bonus surprise in each one. So we're looking forward to this one. Uh, let's see if it's worth what it says it is. Curious what the bonus is too. So let's take a look. Look at that print line. Let's take a look at what I got. I would say this pack got there. Uh, I'd say it's it's pretty good for forty five ninety nine, uh, plus shipping. I think it's a great pack. It's got some cool cards. I'll have to check exactly uh, where these are from, but I'll put that up on the screen too. All right, uh, this one is high end repacks. I paid thirty four ninety nine uh, for this one. I believe we should have a few repacks in here. Yeah, these are uh, got three repacks, each for thirty four ninety nine. These ones, you're gonna we're gonna get one Alpha, Beta, or Unlimited, and one Arabian Nights, Antiquities, Legends, Dark. Uh, or 7th edition foil, reserve list, uh, mythic rare, foil land, and five from any card from rev revised to current. I've got these ones before, and I really liked them. So we're going to give these uh, another shot. See if we can make our money back and open some cool cards. So again, this is high-end vintage repacks. 
uh, from eBay. If you like the content here, join our community on Coffee for live breaks, exclusive content, and giveaways. Moving on to MGT Attic. So I'm really looking forward to MGT Attic. I think I've opened up one from them before. Um, this is their Platinum Power Packs, that they call them. Uh, repacks that don't suck. No marketing scheme for prize cards, no trickery, no lottery. Just some cool repacks for a good price. We're going to get 15 cards in here. Uh, $50 market value minimum, um, ranging from beta to Phyrexia. No dupes. Yeah, they have a couple other ones. They have silver for $10 and gold repacks for $20. Um, we're going to do the platinum one. A hill giant. Looks like it's pretty banged up on the edges, but nonetheless, hill giant. I like their packaging as well. Uh, this just adds kind of just a, a nice touch, I think.
All right. Hit the next one. All right, this one. This one I paid just under thirty dollars for. Say guaranteed thirty dollars in ten cards. So looking forward to this one. Let's see what we get. All right. So this one, I got two repacks from. Uh, I paid probably about like $60, $70 US. Came from, uh, it, came, it was in Canadian. So I think it was about $200 Canadian. Um, and yeah, not a whole lot else. Uh, it says it comes with some memorabilia, possibly. And uh, I think these are the last bit of his repacks. Uh, if he has more, I'll put them up on the screen. Um, but I think we got I mean, we got some cool in here, so let's take a look. All right, <laughs> uh, comes in a full Theros. That back, uh, obviously already opened. So interesting. I don't even know what to do with this stuff. Put it over here. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Okay. Some napkins. <laughs> Deck boxes. Interesting. It's gross. <laughs> Theros uh, deck box. Interesting. All right. So here's a little note. Thank you for your order. Please leave positive feedback with what you win and receive. 
and uh, it's something off my next order. So uh, what we got, a booster pack that's already, okay, it's already open. I was going to say I thought it was, <laughs> was going to be a booster pack. It's not. Uh, we'll take a look at that after. Let's see what's in here. It's a really nice mountain. I do like that. I love the old, uh, old lands. We will add these up and uh, be back with a review. Appreciate you guys staying until the end. If you like this type of video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you're interested in live breaks or buying packs, join our community over on Coffee. I'll drop the link in the description below. Let's take a look at the best cards we pulled. I'm not even going to try. Jekyll Alps. Yeah, I did. Wirewood Lodge. Tremor. Dismember. Powerly. Academy Manufacturer. Titania. Voice of Gaia. Birds of Paradise. The Fairy. Temporal Pilgrim. Inspiration in Foil. Beta Hill Giant, Crystal Rod, Plaza of Heroes Extended Foil, Colony Hydra, Spire Bluff Canal, Petra Sphinx, Captivating Vampire, Counterbalance. This one, Shambling Swarm in Retro Foil. Atawara, Soaring City. Coat of Arms. One more, Esper Sentinel. And Albara's Carpet from Legends. Oh, one more, sorry. Reset from Legends as well. So, after adding everything up, we didn't do that bad. We made back 87% of what we spent on the packs and pulled some cool cards. We didn't have any huge hits, but overall, I think it was a unique experience. I'd definitely do again. Every repack was pretty good, except for the box one. I don't think I would do that one again. The memorabilia were pretty awful. Had there been any value in the mems, it would have been a different story, but that's the risk, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.